Hi guys, welcome to the next section that is improving authentication to an API with Django. In this section, we will be adding unique constraints to the model and update the database. We will make it easy to update single fields with the patch method, and we will take advantage of pagination. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with adding unique constraints to the models. In this video, we are going to learn the necessary steps to make changes to the constraints for many models and reflect the changes in the underlying database through migrations. Our API has a few issues that we need to solve. Right now, it is possible to create many game categories with the same name. We shouldn't be able to do so, and therefore we will make the necessary changes to the game category model to add a unique constraint on the name field. We will also add a unique constraint on the name field for the game and player models. Now we will make changes to introduce unique constraints to the name field for the models that we use to represent and persist the game categories, games and players. First we will open the models.py file and replace the code that declares the game category, game and player classes with this code. Here in the game category we add unique equals true and do the same in class game and player as you can see here. This way we indicate that the field must be unique and Django will create the necessary unique constraints for the fields in the underlying database tables. Now, in the command prompt, we will run this Python script to generate the migrations that will allow us to synchronize the database with the unique constraints we added for the fields in the models. When this line gets executed, we get these lines as our output. The output indicates that the py file includes the code to alter the field name, name on game, game category and player. Note that the generated file name will be different in your configuration because it includes an encoded date and time. These code lines of this file are automatically generated by Django. This code defines a subclass of the Django.db migration class named migration defines an operations list with many migrations.alter field. Each migrations.alter field will alter the field in the table for each of the related models. In the command prompt, we will run this line. This line applies all the generated migrations and executes the changes in the database tables. When the code gets executed, we get these lines. Note that the ordering for the migrations might be different in your configuration. Now we will launch Django's development server to compose and send HTTP requests. This is the code we have used to do this. After running this command, the Django development server is launched and it will start listening on port 8000. Now we will compose and send an HTTP request to create a game category with a name that already exists, 3 RPG. Django won't be able to persist a game category instance whose name is equal to the specified value because it would violate the unique constraint added to the name field. Thus we will receive a 400 bad request status code in the response header and a message related to the value specified for the name in the JSON body. These lines show a sample response. After we have made the changes, we won't be able to add duplicate values for the name field in game categories, games or players.